Hello friend, welcome back. We have added an amazing feature in Test Case Studio that you can generate the pseudo code. It is a pretty much like very much executable script. You just have to follow very few three four steps and you would be able to generate the automation is script which will be much much more stable than any other codeless automation tool which used to generate the script here i will show you how you can generate that script how you can complete the script which you get from test case studio it is available both in pro and free version this feature is available both we have added in both so don't worry about that so you will be like once you record these steps along with that the pseudo code or you can say the script will be generated you just have to uh, add few more uh, things in that paste it in your code and you will be able to execute that and it will be super super stable let us see how so for an example here uh, suppose i will open this test case studio pro version and what you do you just start recording here okay you might feel like some of the columns because i have customized it so i have just removed and all so that we can do now suppose here i have clicked on this here we let's say enter some email id then password abc123 company selectors hub enter phone number then suppose i uh, enter here uh, first cross selectors hub then i click on this submit button suppose i uh, right click on courses here okay so i have performed couple of actions here okay now we have to write the automation script for this okay so you see that if you open test case studio pro version here we have pretty much everything here like all these steps which is in like plain English or you can say manual steps kind of thing. Here we have the data, ID, name, X path, everything is being generated. In fact, CSS selector is also generated. So if I add this, so here it is. Now we have everything, okay? Now we will have to write this script. So generally we all have this kind of framework. So you have the automation framework. This is very, very helpful for those who don't want to uh, go for an, any codeless automation tool those who want to write the automation script for these test cases which you have recorded so now you see that with the help of this only you will be able to complete your automation script without opening uh, the any other browser again uh, the url or this url on the website and then writing and everything finding the locators and then performing each and action again and again nothing you have to do let's see how so here you see that we have xpath name id everything okay you have the command here turn on this you see once you turn on this command you will be having this kind of commands here driver dot find element now you see that on every xpath and css selector this command has been appended now you can you see that this is a kind of like code you got you just have to simply copy and paste in your uh, framework and in fact here you have the multiple commands as well which you can uh, like customize edit as per your requirement that you can do so that all things are there now suppose we how you can complete this how you can execute this script which uh, test case studio pro has generated you simply you see that this is the step the very first step was uh, like we have opened this website uh, practice page directly so copy this go to your framework here we will have this url then what is the command this one simply copy this paste it here what we are doing in this command you see that enter selector sub okay so dot send keys now here what value we are sending we have the data here in the data column you can simply copy this paste it here done first co one command of automation is done the second one is enter password again you have the command you simply copy this or you if you don't want to copy one by one you see that copy button simply copy all and paste it here now in this command what we need to do dot send keys we already have this so it, this we have just completed so we can just simply copy paste let me just remove this from here so we have all the commands in just single shot then we have send keys password password was abc123 so whatever that is you it's up to you then we are entering the company name this one is selector here so you see that how fast we are able to complete the automation script 
and this is super super stable like nothing is going to change these x path because these x path has been generated with the same algorithm what selectors have used in the background so they are very very stable and you can absolutely trust on them then we are entering the selectors hub into the first cross field then we click on submit button so this is click here click command then we right click on courses so on courses we did so you can choose the method or you if you don't want like uh, you want to use the action class or something then in that case you have the x path for that so you can use that so let's say we want to use the action class here so what you can do actions sorry and here you can pass the driver and here you can use act dot context click and this is the element you have so you just pass this and perform so this is how you see that we have performed the right click as well so simply just by following few steps we have performed the uh, we are completing the script one thing here i will suggest always that you see that uh, here in you will get the id and name as well so you see that this id is dynamic like s hub 76 looks like alphanumeric so it is always recommended that you always use the stable attribute so for an example we have like knowingly we have made this field in our uh, website uh, this element uh, this email id field we have made it dynamic uh, purposefully this id of this field as a dynamic like for an example if i inspect this element you see that s hub 76 if we test this it will show you that this is unstable x path zero element because we have made the id field here dynamic so that it immediately change so in that case you see that your test case studio pro has already recorded the name field name selector so you should use this stable one so knowingly we are showing this so here in place of using such x path which you feel that it could be dynamic you see that all other x path are pretty much stable you won't see any new numbers or anything which might be dynamic you see all x, x path which has been generated very stable so whenever you see something dynamic if you know that this these id for your uh, application is stable then you can use it otherwise we always recommend in place of this you use the stable one so this name is stable here and now you see we have this script let us run this hopefully this would execute without any error so simply what we have done we have got all the commands we pasted if we were doing the send keys if we were entering the any value then we use the send keys method if we were clicking then we use the click method if you are performing context click or right click anything that we did so you see that every action you see that in fact context uh, right click has also has been performed on courses all the value has been entered here so this is how you can write the automation script using the test case studio very stable automation script you execute this script 100 time even after 10 days also this script will execute there will not be any kind of failure this this script is something like are uh, written by a developer or as dead it is not a script which is generated by a tool codeless automation tool which might not run after a few days no it will absolutely execute you see that all the action again and again are being performed so this is very very stable and very quickly you can do this is available like this feature is available both in pro and free version you see that we have just turned on this toggle here command toggle and the all on all x path this command was implemented just if you want to change this you can change as well like if you want to change the command we have already added the tutorial how you can change you can see at find by driver dot find element await so for everything it is available and if i go to free version like this is the free version here also you have this command feature so if you are recording anything here and there so you see that if you click on this it will perform it will click uh, i mean add that command here as well and you can change if you want to change the command so you can generate this uh, like command script and command in both the tools in free version and pro version of test case studio I hope you will enjoy this feature and this will definitely save a lot of time for you guys if you have any question any suggestion do let us know in the comment section 
and if you have any doubt you can always reach out to us on the selectors of live chat with that thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selectors of channel thank you